Hi everybody, it's Laura. How are you today? It is a happy Sunday where I'm at. When I'm taping this today, we are going to do a swipe today. Um, I did something similar for um, someone who purchased a painting and she wants another one. So what I'm doing, she wants one to, to match relatively closely. So this is, um, I have my Glidden GLE 3000 down on, as, a, as a base. You don't need as much um, paint down for a swipe as you do for a bloom. So I don't have a whole lot of base on there. It's just spread out nice and evenly. Um, since this is a 12 by 12, it's bigger. I did spray the back of my canvas with water in a little spray bottle and I spread it around with, <clears throat> excuse me, with my um, hand to get it distributed nicely all over the back of the canvas and that kind of tightens it up so it doesn't, it won't be as prone to um, dipping in the middle. So that's what I did. This is the um, Master's Touch Orange that I'm putting down right now. Next, I'm going to do Copper. And this is by USA Art. It's an oddball set of paints I found on Amazon. They come in tubs. And I really like it. It's very thick, and so you have to watch your mixture, you know, as you're mixing it with your pouring medium. It takes quite a bit to get it thinned down, but I like the color. So, and it was a good bargain, too. Just because paint is at a bargain price does not mean that it will not work or it is not good. And we're just we're just squiggling this all over. If you don't want to watch this part, skip ahead to the video, but I talk and share some useful information I like to think. So, it's worth sticking around for. It doesn't really take that long for me to lay these down. This is Hot Cinnamon Pigment by Primary Elements. Now, this one you have to be careful with. Your reds are going to take over your painting. So, you kind of want to be careful how much you put on because it will take over but I want a red orange painting here so that's okay but I'm still going to be careful with it I would say this is enough we're going to quit there. Now, next is Anita's Gold Metallic Paint. Again, this is a cheaper paint and doesn't matter. It works very, very nicely. And this is a little bit too thick. Let me add some of my min water. Min water is three parts minwax polyprylic to one part water. I keep it mixed in a condiment bottle and I just squirt a little bit of it into the paint. I keep all my paints mixed. I've been using these paints for six months now and I just add 
when they get low, I add to the container, you know, my, my ingredients and just mix it right in the same container. Occasionally, I will get little goobers from the sides that, uh, you know, when the paint has dried on the side of the container in there. But I try not to scrape the sides too much when I'm stirring. And it works out fine. I think I've gotten two goobers in there. It's over all this time I've been doing this. Not that it's that long, but... I've been at it for about six or seven months now. I love it. Okay, next. I'm going to use Primary Elements Ginger Peach Pigment. This too needs a little juicing up. You gotta stir it quite a bit when you add that uh, that Minwax water because it needs time to absorb it. I don't have too much of this left. I'm gonna have to make another another batch add to it. So what's everybody doing today? Not that you can answer me, but you can you can pop what you're doing in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Where you're from. What your favorite technique is. What's your favorite color combo? This color combo right here would not be my favorite. I'm not into reds and oranges i love the teals and i love purples next is this little piggy sockeye pigment by yeah this little piggy i already said that Duh. My favorite technique is a Dutch bloom. You lay it out like a Dutch pour, but it's using your bloom recipe. And I like to, now it's not blown like a Dutch pour. Well, it is because it's a hair dryer and you're blowing it out thin, but I like to cover the whole canvas. So that is my favorite technique. I'm trying to think if I have one here to show you. Not down here. Next one is Ore Pigment by this little piggy. It's a beautiful gold. It's not always a good idea to stir your paints right before you begin painting, especially with the bloom, because you'll get those little um, measles. But with a swipe, it doesn't really matter as much. So I stir away here. Okay, and you do want to leave some white still showing. Okay, we're on to our last color, Master's Touch Permanent Red. Again, this tends to take over, so we want to be cautious with it. Don't use too, too much.
However, I think I'm going to want to add some more of that hot cinnamon. I love that color. It is so vibrant and pretty. And because we've got a lot of orange and gold in here, I think we need to um, jazz it up with a little bit more of that hot cinnamon. So that's what we're going to do. Just a little bit. Just where it kind of needs it. All right, I think that's good. One more. Okay, that's our mishmash. So now I'm going to slide these out of the way. I'm going to get my cell activator. You always want to make sure you stir and shake your cell activator. I'm going to take a plate. This is dry on here, so I don't need to worry about it. And I'm going to put down a good amount of cell activator wide like that. I'm going to take a, this is a paint chip. You can use those cards that you get in the mail from um, uh, election campaigns. We're getting a ton of those right now. And uh, you can use those, advertisements for businesses, as long as they're like one of those coded cards. And you just want to swipe across gently, but you also want to make sure you're you're covering everything. I like to go halfway because it gets too thin out here and then you don't get cells out there. So I do the halfway. And you're just Barely touching and gently dragging. Look at how pretty that is. So now what I will do, well, I'll, I'll take the card and cut it off, but this is too, too short already. So I'm just going to take another card. I need some more cell activator on my plate. And then we'll do the other half. Again, just barely touching. You can also use playing cards. The smaller, um, the smaller bits seem to work better for me. I get more control with them. And hopefully, this is going to match the one that I already did for this customer. It's hard because you can't, you can never get two things the same. So it's hard to, to make two. It all depends how much paint you put down. Did you do the colors in the same, um order now I'm just going to touch up where I didn't get it completely it's 
it's not a big deal this is going to spin off on the edges but i kind of want it to be covered good so we're done swiping let's get this out of our way now we need to embellish so i want to get something a little thicker so i have a knitting needle here now i'm going to just kind of I'm kind of doing figure eights. Wipe off my knitting needle on the paper towel. Then I think we'll do we'll do some in these areas. I'm kind of um, paying attention to where there's nothing, like what needs some interest, like this here is pretty, so I'm not going to do as much there. Right here we need a little bit of work to break this up, give it some interest. I will do just... A little bit like so to do something here you do want to wipe your tool every time you do something all right, I think I kind of like that. I think I'm going to get something kind of going horizontally here. Maybe diagonally. And one on the other side. Because if you're particular like me, you have to have equal things on each side. So I think I like that. Um, let's take one thing I forgot to do. I want to try and get some cells right there. Not sure if it's going to happen. Oh, yes, they're coming. So I got to tell you a funny story of something that happened last night. It's the middle of the night. Dog had to go out. We got a new sliding door. It has a screen on it. We didn't have a screen on our old door. So I opened up the main door to go out. I go out the other door and forgot the screen was there. I walked right into it. Busted my toenail on the door. <laughs> it was crazy. All right. So I want to... Kind of fix that or it's going to be a big blob. All right. We are ready to spin. Oh, it's pretty.
Oh, wow. Look at that. That's nice. I like it. Let's go the other way. Because we got quite a bit of paint on there to get off. So we got to let it go and do its thing. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? All those golds and coppers and the sockeye coming through there. So I do want to get it going. I want to get rid of that white and black over there. So I'm going to slide my mat over this way. So it goes that way. The centrifugal force sends it the way that you, you dragged it. I'm going to get a little bit more over there. I'm going to pull it over there some more. Then we're going to have to do the other side. Let me get rid of this balloon in my box. Eh, it's stuck. I like to clean up while I'm spinning. Okay, we still need a little bit more. All right, I'm going to help it along a little bit. I'm going to grab me some paint and just kind of write. Let me grab some more paint. Just kind of drizzle it on right there. Now we'll give it another spin. Might as well touch up my edges while I'm at it. This edge is really good. This edge here is going to need some more paint. All right, one more spin this way. Then we're going to go the other way. Now we got to get it coming off this way, so we're going to pull the mat over this way and spin. I probably could have used a little bit more base paint so that it did that on its own, but we can make it work. Oh yeah, see that? It's coming. One more spin. And which way we're going this way. Yep. Okay. This is gorgeous. Very pretty. One more spin and we're done. Yes, we are. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? So I'm going to take it down. I'm going to show you the detail. This is gorgeous. So 
you can see the shimmer let me turn on the flash let's see what we can show you we've got a bunch of peacock cells that's different colors inside one cell it's very hard to see that on uh, to see the glimmer and everything if you could see this in person and how this is shining like here we go down here the the glitter and glimmer and shimmer is just so beautiful these pictures when you see them in person it is nothing like what you're seeing here but at any rate we are done there is the final uh result please if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up please comment with any questions or comments you might have please subscribe to my channel i am trying to get to 500 before well, I don't think we're going to make it by the end of the month, but I'm going to be optimistic because I'm at 419. We can do this. So please subscribe. Alrighty. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.